Welcome back to Read Only Memories. We finally got a plan to stop Big Blue, and that is to change the firmware in all of the robots, all of the ROMs, and make them sapient. So step one of that plan is to get into this building and hack into, I believe it's a parallax node. This is right next to KCOB. Strange and coincidental place for one of these nodes. He's pretty idle for someone that is probably on the clock. I wish I actually had something to work on right now. But it is what it is. <laughs> Wait, then what are you what are you doing? Is that what maintenance people that don't have anything to do normally do? Is just stand and stare at a plant? Alright. Sorry, this building isn't open to the public. If you're looking for the offices where we hold interviews, that's over on Bush and Leavenworth. Hmm. Not open to the public. That seems kind of strange to me because they have a receptionist. If you're not open to the public, would you still have a, re a receptionist? I guess? Maybe? I don't know. But you may want to wait till after the holidays. I don't think anyone's around till 2065. Let's go. Hmm. We need some way past that receptionist. Perhaps we can make ourselves appear to be here on more official business capacity somehow. Like we're on duty. No one ever tries to stop you if you look like you belong. I'm guessing that's where the maintenance person comes in. I service all the electrical work on this entire block. Do you? There's his van. There looks to be a spare uniform in the back. Ooh, exactly what I was wondering. Uh, can I just take it? Hmm. Oh, there's a spare maintenance uniform. Good thinking. If you put that on... Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get out of there! Eh, sorry, mister. Drat. We'll have to find a way to distract him, or we'll never get our disguise. I hate to cause civil disorder again, but... He doesn't seem to be too occupied with fixing anything. Maybe we should find a way to keep his hands busy? Look around. Alright, so I gotta break something to keep him busy. Can I, like, kick over one of these plants? Wait, what did that say? Thanks to a new environmentalist ordinance, tampering with the bioplanter gets a stronger community surface sentence than most misdemeanors. Jesus. Okay, so they surfaced the whole block, right? So anything on this block, I could wreck. And they would have to service it. What about the welcome sign? Hmm. I do have my brick still. So... <laughs> there we go. Yikes. That was flashier than I expected. Hurry. We don't want to be caught standing here. Perfect. They should let us right past now. Great idea. Thank you. Oh, grab that clipboard. The very symbol of bureaucratic authority. Hey, what's going on outside? I thought I heard a bang. We'll handle it. Huh. Yeah, okay. Are you new? I'm not sure I've seen you around here before. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I just got hired. Well, I'll need to see your badge. 
This is a secure building. Hmm. Hmm. Show Vincent's badge. Uh, that wouldn't work, would it? In fact, if the badge has already been deactivated, which I feels like it might have, I feel like it might have been at this point. That would actually not only just not work, but it would, it would screw me over. It would set off alarms. It's in the truck. I need to check the equipment for damage now. Whatever, just let me see your badge on your way out. I need to get my log or I'll get chewed out. Let's move. What's gonna happen on the way out? Because I don't have it. I suppose at that point I can just maybe run and it doesn't matter. An unbelievable gleam radiates from the surface of the front desk. What did they use to polish this? There's a bit of fun to be found in smudging the desk's pristine surface with a handprint. Uh, but wait. How did that disappear so quickly? It's perpetually shiny. It absorbs handprints or something. Promotional slides and ads for parallax dot the curved screens, all adorned with irregularly happy faces participating in stock, carefully choreographed activities. Even the slightest chance of being sucked into the torturous depths of the calculated focus group tested hell of infomercial stars that the screens display stays your hand. My ID card, I can use it on it? A parallax knows you, it knows your family, it knows your friends. There's nothing new here in terms of data collection. Well, we got past the receptionist, but we still don't possess the credentials to bypass this door that they expect us to have. Let me take a look. Hmm. This is a blah 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 automatic security and fire door. Voice controls, biometric scanning, and remote user access. Remote user access, that's what we need, right? I would have went with the 1355. No voice controls, but still a nice unit. I think I can bypass this. Maybe not as easily as your apartment door, but easily enough. Distract the receptionist for a moment, could you? What if I smudge the desk again? Wait, what did that say? There's actually something interesting there. This must be one of those mythical, truly stainless desks. The kind only heard of in whispers at the most secret of elite housekeeping meetings. <laughs> what, the cabal of housekeepers that meet once a month to discuss? A few more handprints confirm it, there's no way to adequately dirty this desk. Hmm. You need something? Could you check your cameras and see if any were blown by the surge? Sure, give me a second. Huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. Something else must be on the fritz. Anyway, the cameras are all fine. Let me know if you need anything else. Thanks. There, we're in. Clock's ticking. We should be able to use one of the terminals here, and I'll be able to crack the local security with the right device. However, I need the password to get on the network to get on the network and find the area on the mesh where the source code lies. According to anecdotal evidence on the mesh, humans do have difficulty remembering their passwords. Maybe there's a clue somewhere nearby? If not, we can call Tomcat but it'll take time for them to get in and crack it. Ooh, there's so many things. Look at all the things. I'm gonna look at everything. According to the name Black, this desk belongs to one AP. There are many desks like it, but this one is theirs. <laughs> the legs of the desk are welded to the floor. Sadly, there will be no high-pitched metal-on-metal screeching sound. Try to contain your disappointment. 
Nilavanda, please. I know it's tempting, but we really don't have the time. This could be our chance. Give it your all. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to talk to the desk. Okay, fine. The setup is what someone would use if they were trying to crack a phone rather than upgrade ROM parts. Hmm. If you had any idea what you were doing, the current delicate state of this component would allow for some inventive tinkering with modifications. What were they trying to do here? There it is, Nelavanda. Good eye. It's P6MAA10816. Uh, wait, that's the that's the password? Like, just displayed on the massive screen? Hmm. I thought that would have been harder. <laughs> yeah, me too. Although it's a touch screen, it probably scans to only allow employee fingerprints access. Best not to try. Super spoiled milk. Sorry, but this screen has spill-proof polymers that not even this filth can penetrate. Will I ever find another use for spoiled milk? I can hope. An orange swivel chair sits at an empty, empty desk, almost begging you to spin around in it. Let's do it. Well, no one's around, I suppose. Go ahead. The temptation to sit and spin is just too great. The world now becomes a blur as you squeal in delight. Station's probably what I have to use, I would guess. Anything inside of the desk? The more cluttered the area, the more likely the owner will be pissed if anything is touched. A good edict to live by. A massive, ominous device looms heavily above an inactive ROM skeleton. An idle ROM sits beneath the massive production device. It appears to be missing something in its middle section. Maybe this piece. The ROM is utterly inactive and non-functional, like an adorable robot paperweight. Is it supposed to be adorable? I really can't tell from here. It just looks like a, a blob. Shifting anything even slightly causes a thick layer of dust to reveal itself quite loudly. This desk hasn't been cleaned in months, despite Parallax's usual pristine corporate tidiness. Perfect. This will be the terminal we use. Oh, that's the one we used, then what about this workstation? A very complex setup of monitors surrounds the desk. Do there need to be monitors on the ceiling? That is a bit crazy. You flub attempts at getting in, the little virtual ROM desktop buddy gives you the stink eye. Alright, let's use this thing. Hmm. It's asking for a password. Oh, do I do I have to enter it like myself? What was it again? Uh, the password according to that screen across the ROM. Uh, the, across the ROM. Across the room. Alright, I'm gonna write this down because it sounds like I have to actually type it in myself. A10816. Okay. Go ahead and plug it in. Password attempt one of three. Alright, let's not mess this up. Are there capital or not capital? No, they're all all the same. Okay. P6MAA10816. Oops. Did you forget it? No. Looks like we only get three tries, that was our first. Uh, that's too easy. Maybe we should look around the office a bit more. Just click log out then. Yeah, don't tap on it. Those are zeros, right? That is P6 M. A-A-1-0? 
eight one six. Right? If I mistyped that, the only thing I can think of that I mistyped is the zero as an... I, I typed it... I typed this as a zero. Maybe it's an O? I doubt it, though. That really looks like an O. Hmm. I'm pretty sure those are not sevens. Those gotta be ones. 10816. Let me try typing that as an O instead of a zero. Hmm. I don't know, I still feel like that's way too simple, there's gotta be something more to it, right? Alright, let's try it. P6MAA10? Wait, is there even a difference between O and Z? What the? There's literally no difference in the font between O and zero. This is an O. This is an O, that's a zero. It's literally the same. Huh. P6MAA? One, O, eight, one, six? Uh, you already know the code? How are you still failing? Mm, something's wrong. Like seriously, am I? Um, something's either wrong or I'm just like missing something really obvious. But I have a feeling it's just not actually the password. Fine. Do it again. It's, it's not like the game is going to be uncompletable if I mess it up again, right? That's it, Nella. What? Okay, are you serious? I'm going to have to back a, go back and look at the video and see if I just, like, misentered it the first time. The first time I entered it as I thought it was. The second time I entered it the same way, except I did an O instead of a zero, although they look the same, literally exactly the same. And the third time, I just did the same thing I did the first time, except maybe the first time I messed it up and didn't notice? I don't know. We're in. Uh, okay, if you say so, Turing. Tomka gave me an icebreaker program to keep the VIs off of us while we search. I have to run that, so you need to help me sort through the files. Give me a moment to load GUI to help you with finding the data. There. I've had plenty of time to go over Hayden's data cache files, so I have a good idea of what I'm looking for. We have plenty of time before someone will think something is wrong. Just play it safe. I managed to get all the surface level data. Uh, shoot. The VI stopped me halfway in. They want some kind of glyph? Let me load it up for you. I managed to download a good chunk of my source code, but a lot of it is behind some heavy security. We have to get the rest of it, Nelavanda. We don't have time to puzzle it out, so we'll just have to start guessing for the right pattern. This is our one chance to capture my full source code. This is make or break it. Start poking around. See if you can tunnel through. You only have a few tries, like with the password, but this time is for real. No other way around it if you fail. I believe in you, Nelabanda. It's your time to shine. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna mess this up. I literally have no idea. I literally have nothing to go on, right? So... Invalid pattern. 
three parts of four correct. Ooh. Okay, three parts of four correct. That's good. That's really good. Let's keep trying. We can crack it. Three parts of four correct. Okay, I selected four. Three of them are correct. Hmm. Three parts of four correct. Okay. Well, that means it has to be this. No? Two parts. Keep going, we're narrowing it down. Uh, I think I'm unnarrowing it, actually. I don't understand. If I. Okay, three parts of four were correct when I did these. And then I switched it to these. And it still said three parts of four. I guess it was one of the other ones. I thought... Uh, I'm thinking about this the wrong way. Mm. Hurry! I'm going as fast as I can! Fuck! Mm. Which one is the incorrect one? This one's definitely correct. This one I'm pretty sure is correct. Mm. Icebreaker isn't working anymore. I'm grabbing what I can. Cutting connection. Fuck! It almost had me there, but at least I got some of the files. I hope it's enough. Me too. Fucking, I was terrible at that. Let's get that here before security shows up. I'm certain the VI will be alerting someone. Shit. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I did wrong. Okay, so... Oh God, at first it was three out of four correct, and it was these. These four. Then I believe I switched it to these four, right? And didn't it still say 3 out of 4 correct? So what does that mean? That means I switched one of the ones that was correct to another one that was also correct? And if I switch one that was already correct to another one that was correct... Then that means this one must be correct and this one must be correct, right? It's really hard to explain this, so I don't know if that makes any damn sense, but I guess it's beyond... It doesn't really matter anymore. Stop what you're doing. Oh god. Let's get out of here. Run! Oh, Trat. We couldn't get through in time. We weren't able to recover my full source code. Only a partial amount. And Turing believed in me. You shouldn't have believed in me. That will make things harder for us. But we don't have another chance now. Let me call Tomcat and let them know we got some of my code. Hey, Turing. Did you get everything? We weren't able to keep the counter-intrusion VI off of us long enough to get everything. I'm sending you what I have now. Damn. That's not good. Okay. Okay, okay. I think I can work with this. I'll have to reverse engineer some things from your personality profile, though, Turing. New AIs might share some of your personality quirks. It's gonna take me a little time though, so you should spend the next few hours preparing to head into the Parallax server farms on Treasure Island. I should be all done before nightfall. I don't relish the idea of going in on this alone. Perhaps we could spend this time to gather together our allies, see if they're willing to take such a leap of faith with us. As fun as it would be watching you go full Yukino on them during, I agree. Maybe you could whip up some kind of a distraction for the authorities to focus on. Buy you some time. It's settled then. 
We'll go talk to Chad, Oliver, and Jess now. That should keep everyone busy enough and give us cover so we can do whatever we need to do. My first instinct is to ask Detective Rivers as well, but I do not want to force her into an untenable conflict of interest. I'll run some more simulations to see if we should talk to anyone else. Sounds like you have it under control. Once you've gotten everyone together, head to the old storm drain entrance near the Parallax building. I've been studying the plans between waiting for code to compile, and it looks like the best way past the exterior security measures is through there. You'd have to be a darn fool to try to wade through the water, but security is tighter than... hmm, it's light. I'm not sure I can play the fool, but stubborn is Nilavanda's forte. We'll call you when we're on site. Good. Tomcat out. I'll message ahead to everyone, and mark their current locations on your map. Start thinking about who our best allies have been, and how we might convince them to help. Okay, well, let's not recruit Jess, because I hate her. Whoops. Whoops. There we go, that's where I meant to go. Let's go talk to these two. I feel like they'd be up for helping. Where are they? There they are. Starfucker! Oliver! Lavanda! Turing! How's it sinking? Yes, how are you? Busy. We were hoping we could enlist your aid again. You'll need some more fake IDs or something? Or maybe some third-hand VR dramas? Third-hand? Yeah, like, you know guy I know found them when they fell off the back of a truck? I thought VR dramas were distributed primarily over the mesh. I ignore him. I made the mistake of convincing him to watch some turn-of-the-century mobster movies with me. <laughs> I regretted it instantly. Hey, I really like that one with that dude from Montana in it. Whatever. So, what do you jerks need? That's apparently my VR dramas ain't good enough. Well, we're going to be engaging in some activity of dubious legality. We were wondering if you wouldn't mind formulating a distraction to keep the police out of the way. Y'all gonna go hit those parallax bastards that did your dad in? Astute. He's smarter than he pretends to be. Do you have a plan in mind already? Hmm. Just a little bit of noise. Or a riot. Uh, I'd rather avoid a riot. Riots can get really dangerous. Just need you to make some noise. Nothing too dangerous. But danger is my middle name. No, it's not. It's Francis. Shut up, Oliver. We just need you to gather a bunch of like-minded individuals and be ready to start a conflict with the hybrids who are having March on the Human Revolution protests. They'll know to expect it, so it won't get entirely out of hand. But the police will have to mobilize anyway to keep the crowd at least partially under control. As much as we'd like to, we'll do it. You've done all right by us, Nelavanda. I'm even almost sorry we sprayed up that dude's apartment. I know we're all squared up already, but Bitbrain here is good people, so we'll, we'll call this a freebie, yeah? Between friends. I got some dudes I can call. They like to party hard too. 
We'll show those coppers how we do it in Neo SF. I guess we're in. Hopefully we'll be able to stay out of juvie. We'll need a little time to make the calls. I'll message you when we're ready to move. Hey, you need a call sign, Ollie. Can't do spy shit like this without a good name. Not a bad idea. How about... <laughs> Magane-kun. Aw oh, man, not more anime crap. That's not any worse than Starfucker. <laughs> True. <laughs> Only because you ain't... Only because you ain't a star yet. Chad, we haven't even... Ugh. You two are cute. <clears throat> we'll be off to make those calls now. Right, Chad? Uh, yeah, sure, Ollie. Whatever you say. We'll be in touch. Smell you later, really? Well, on to the next thing, I guess. I do have to say, I can't tell if the mating rituals of human teenagers are endearing or disgusting. I'm sure you'll find love someday, too. Huh. The thought had honestly never occurred to me, Nelavanda. I guess if we pull this off, that'll be one more puzzle for me to piece together. That aside, let's get going. We shouldn't keep Jess waiting any longer. Assuming you like your limbs in the current configuration. Oh god, Jess time. What's going on, Nelavanda? Oh god. <laughs> Detective Rivers, we weren't expecting- Please, cut that out. I'm concerned about you. Really. Alright, give it to her straight turn. We're sorry for keeping you in the dark. We found out that Hayden has been killed by someone inside Parallax. And we're now on the move to stop them from doing worse. Wait, what? I was hoping you'd tell me that all this was just a ruse by Nella Banda to win a Pulitzer. I assure you, when given the chance to back out and do just that, she chose to stick with it. Ah, right, once again, am I fighting for justice, truth, or revenge? I think I said justice before. Let's go with justice. This is about justice, not profit. Yes. We need to make sure justice is delivered. Well, you sure did kick over a hornet's nest when you knocked over that data center. I'm assuming that was you, yeah? My superior came and yanked me off of Hayden's case right after we got the call. Told me it was politically unwise to keep digging. That's bullshit doublespeak meaning ass covering for the corporate overlords. I'm betting that was only step one in your two-step plan to really get in trouble, too. Correct, Detective Rivers. We're now in the process of setting up the next phase. Alright. I'm in. Can't stay away from the fire, eh, Lexi? Someone has to keep you from getting yourself killed, Nelavanda. Your sister would never forgive me. And we just started talking again. So, screw the badge. I'm tired of being a corporate pawn, shoved around by whomever has the deepest pockets. I got into this job to help people, and I've done too damn little of that lately. I am in. Just like that? Just like that. 
What's the plan? Parallax got rid of Hayden because he was about to publish his research on me, and they're about to launch the first independent machine intelligence as a data collection agent on the mesh. They're worried that Congress will shut them down if they find out how powerful it is. Whoa. I'm a little more worried that they won't. That's some Big Brother stuff right there. <laughs> big Brother, Big Blue. No kidding. Almost literally. Precisely our concern. With the data we stole, we should be able to shut the program down from inside Parallax's main server center. It's messier than that, but that's the gist of it. That's our next target. Okay. Send me a message for when to meet up. I'm not exactly sure where I can help. Maybe keep some heat off of you while you do whatever it is? I'm certain your assistance will prove invaluable. Oh, and Melavanda? Call your sister. She misses you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Lexi. Yeah. Seeing your ugly mug pushed me into calling her, so it's only fair. Maybe things will be different this time. Maybe I'll quit the force, regardless of what happens, and be a PI or something. More free time that way. I feel like Lexi would be a lot happier as a PI. The cases would certainly be cooler. A lot cooler than the, the menial garbage that she has to deal with. Although I wonder, what are the majority of PI cases? I don't know, maybe PI cases would be pretty mundane too. That's enough talking. I'm heading back to the station to keep an eye on things. See you when it's time. Goodbye, Detective Rivers. One more ally on our side, Nelavanda. That <laughs> smooth jazz music. I like it. Oh, hey, Jess. I, did, I didn't realize you were here. I was coming to this place to, uh, to see Jess, but I thought we got intercepted on our way there. But no, this is actually where she is. That music just sounds so... It's good, but it's just very odd that it's happening right now. It's groovy, but it's also really depressing. I feel existential loneliness. Also, why is Jess here? I figured she'd still be at the, the Stardust. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, well... Regardless, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to have a probably unpleasant conversation trying to convince Jess to help us. And then we'll go hit up Parallax and hopefully stop Big Blue. <laughs>